So here we're going to look at using filibuster in our prototype Java instrumentation to find a resilience bug in a microservice application that's built using the Armeria web framework. Um, so I have two services, a hello service and a world service. My hello service has a path called slash world, which makes a request to the world service. And if the world service returns 200, it says hello remote world. Otherwise, it returns hello world. My world service has one path that will make a request to Google. And if Google returns a 200, it returns uh, 200 back to the hello service. Otherwise, it returns a 503 back to the hello service. So we have hello goes to world, world goes to Google. And then as long as everything returns 200 back in the chain, um, the, uh, the system is operating correctly. So uh, the first thing that we have to do is we have to start these services. So I'm going to restart these quickly. I just am using Gradle to launch uh, both the hello and the world services. And the next thing I have to do is write a functional test. So these tests can be written in, in any language. Um, I'm going to write this in Python. So I'll just uh, set up a Python script. We'll import requests. We'll say requests.get localhost 5000 slash world. And then we'll say if response.status code equals 200, we'll exit zero, which will mean that the test is passing. Otherwise, we'll exit one, which means that the test fails. So this stands in for a functional test. And like I said, these tests can be written in any language. So we'll verify that our service is online. And let's just run that test to make sure that it works. So I run my test. And I got a zero back. OK. So now we'll run filibuster. And we'll provide the path to the functional test, and we'll say it's test.py. What filibuster will do is it will run the initial execution, and then it will start injecting faults. And so here we see that the request that was issued from the hello service to the world service, um, we injected an unprocessed request exception with a, a cause of connection timeout. So we injected a fault between hello and world to simulate world being down. Now, once this failure occurs, it writes out a counterexample file, so we can actually say counterexample file, counterexample.json, and we can replay that one particular request. So the reason we have a problem here is that I've accounted for the situation where uh, where the service does not return a 200, for instance, if it returned a 503 or a 500, but I didn't actually account for the scenario where the remote service is down. And so I know that that's going to trigger this execution exception here. I can find that out by attaching a debugger when I replay the test using filibuster. But I know that what I really need to do here is I need to just say final response if an exception occurs is going to be HTTP response of, and we'll just say hello, non-remote world because the service was down and I couldn't get a response back. So now I can use the counterexample. Re oh, what I need to do first is I need to restart that and recompile my Java application. And once I do that, then I'm able to use that counterexample file, as we see here, and replay my test. And when I replay my test, I see that it passes. So now I can go back, remove my counterexample file, and let's run all the generated tests again. And we see that we can generate a bunch of different tests where we're injecting exception failures, and we're returning 500 internal server errors, other types of 500 codes, service unavailables. And so we're injecting all of these failures at different points in the process to see how this works. Now, to support this, we actually didn't have to make any changes to the application that we wanted to perform fault injection on. What we simply have to do is in our Gradle file that starts our project, we basically supply a Java agent here, and we give a path to the filibuster jar. And what that will do is automatically instrument all of the calls that are made between services using either HTTP or gRPC with the Armeria web framework will automatically instrument that, the futures, the thread pools, and everything, and allow you to do fault injection automatically without having to modify the application that you're going to test. And so that's a little simple example of using filibuster uh, and our prototype implementation of instrumentation for Java on an Armeria application for identifying resilience issues and verifying that your error handlers actually operate correctly without requiring you to write manual uh, manual mocks and stubs and perform testing that way. Thanks for watching.